Snook are one of, if not the, smartest game fish Florida has to offer. They are extremely visual feeders, so the right bait is crucial. They can throw your hook with a powerful head shake or chew through your leader with their sandpaper mouths. Their ability to find any type of structure to break you off on makes them extremely challenging. There's very few fish out there that match the challenge of landing big snook. Keep going, keep going, keep going. You can't quit. The fish ain't quitting, you can't quit. Awesome, dude. Yeah. Woo! Look at that. That's the first time I landed. Good job, buddy. Thank you. Yeah, look at that freaking fish, man. That's huge. Here, I'll get some. What's going on y'all? We're out at the pier today and we are filling up our live bait well right now with some sand perch. Let me show you guys right here what we got going on. Oh, just closed itself. These are sand perch and or mojaros. Let me show you guys real quick. That's what they look like. These are great snook baits. They have really hard, sharp gill plates that I keep freaking cutting my hand off. The rig I'm using to catch these guys is a one ounce egg sinker, some 12 pound, fluorocarbon just right there, a little swivel, and a number eight long shank hook. And all I'm doing is I'm tipping this number eight hook with a little piece of shrimp, and we're dropping it underneath the pier and catching these guys. So let's get out there, catch a couple more. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh man. Yes, that is the target species. I need a deep so bad. Oh, oh yeah. heavy conventional rod. This is an Avid LX 50 pound mainline. It's actually a little light for these big baits in my opinion, but it's what I got, so it's what we're using. I tied a bimini twist, gives me a little bit more knob strength, a little more abrasion resistance. Close to the bait, close to the fish. That is just tied to a 100 pound swivel right there, and then I have some 80 pound fluorocarbon to a 6 aught J hook. And that's what we're gonna be using. I'm gonna be hooking those sand perch right through the nose. I'm gonna be working my way up and down the pier, piling, piling. And we're gonna hopefully find some. We'll see. I'll get you guys on the GoPro. What's going on, pier rats? First off, I'm gonna have to apologize for this freaking annoying wind noise in today's video. I've been having major camera issues lately, but I'll be cleaning that up in the next couple weeks. But, welcome to the video where I seem to not be able to do anything right. <laughs> this afternoon, I swear, I made every mistake in the book. I was breaking off my line, I was tying bad knots, I was putting my bait into schools of fish that didn't want to eat. I wasted all of my bait but one of them if fishing a group of fish that were just sitting there just trying to do their own thing, not feed. I finally figured it out by the end of the day and got out of that slump. So I appreciate you guys for watching. I hope you're gonna enjoy these rock clips coming up and until that next voiceover, I'll catch you guys later. You know, 
another bait. We just placed another perfectly good perch. Gots is a scale. Bottom or free line, what do you guys think? I got one bait left. Free line it is. I got one dead one and one live one. What? Oh my god, bro. This has just not been my day. Lou, I can't catch anything to save my life. This thing kicked my ass. Yeah, third out. One more time. Let it go. There you go. Good form. Good form. That is how it's going. There you go. Good shit, man. Appreciate you. Dude, I haven't had my ass kicked like that in a long time. <laughs> Woo! There's one dead one. Yeah, underneath that bucket in that cart. Woo! 38, 39. I ain't worried about it, brother. I appreciate it. Hey, you can't catch it in the face. <laughs> Look at 
Okay, y'all, I'm back at the truck. That's the end of the day. Unfortunately, the bite didn't really turn on until about the last 20 minutes of fishing. And I had already wasted like most of my bait that I spent most of the day catching. What are you gonna do? That's fishing. But you guys did see that one big fish that I uh, caught on the GoPro. It, um, not on the GoPro, caught it on a sand perch. What am I saying? Caught it on a sand perch. I pitched it down in the school of them in kind of shallow water and the perch is just freaking out. I just feel it swimming around, swimming around, jiggling my line, jiggling my line, and then I just feel, boom! Just a giant thump when the snook inhaled it. It was crazy. Set the hook, and I I don't know, y'all. Like, uh, I've been lifting weights, I've been trying, but maybe I am just too darn weak to land these fish. I don't know, younger me could, but that thing kicked my butt. I pumped, 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 and then he got right on a piling and as soon as he hit the piling I lost I removed all the tension from the line because if there's tension and the lines on the piling it's gonna break immediately so as soon as I removed that tension I loosened my drag and I feel the fish come off I was able to run down and you saw I changed the set of pilings I was on and then I could pump him back up to the top and luckily my buddy was there to net him for me so a lot of luck on my side to land that fish really stoked about it haven't landed one that big in a while so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you learned something if you want to see any of the tackle I was using check the description box if you want to learn anything about anything shoot me a DM pop a comment in the section below and I'll let you know I appreciate you all so much for watching and I'll see you guys in that next video